Reciprocal identity. Sin x is equal to 1 over cosecant x. Cosine x is equal to 1 over secant x. Tangent x is equal to 1 over the tangent x. Ratio identity. Tangent x is equal to sine x over cosine x. Cotangent x is equal to cosine x over sine x. Pythagorean identity. Sine squared x minus 1 is equal to cosine squared x. Tangent squared x plus 1 is equal to secant squared x. Cotangent squared x plus 1 is equal to cosecant squared x. Which is also equal to sine squared x minus 1 is equal to cosine squared x. Secant squared x minus 1 is equal to tangent squared x. Cosecant squared x minus 1 is equal to cotangent squared x. Our given is sine squared x plus 2 cosine x minus 1 over sine squared x plus 3 cosine x minus 3 is equal to 1 over 1 minus secant x. Let's start by changing sine squared x to 1 minus cosine squared x in the numerator and denominator. It was derived from the Pythagorean identity. We will combine like terms. So negative cosine squared x plus 2 cosine x will remain in the numerator. And negative cosine squared x plus 3 cosine x minus 2 as the denominator. We will extract the negative signs since cosine squared x will change its signs. The whole equation will change its sign. We will factor out the numerator using the common monomial factoring. Since we have the same terms in the numerator and denominator, we will do cross cancellation. Cosine x over cosine x minus 1 will remain. The numerator is cosine x. Find the equation cosine x over cosine x is equal to 1. 1 over 1 minus 1 over cosine x using the reciprocal identity. Our equation is now 1 over 1 minus second x in all equations, you have to choose the more complex row because it will be efficient. And so in problem number 2, we will choose the left-hand side of the equation. Using the reciprocal identity, in cosecant x, we will get 1 over sin x. And in cotangent x and tangent x, we will use ratio identity. Cotangent x is cosine x over sine x and sine x over cosine x for time. We factor out sine x in the denominator so it will be sine x times 1 plus cosine x over cosine x. Our equation now is 1 plus cosine x over sine x over sine x times 1 plus cosine x over cosine x. We divide it 1 plus cosine x over sine x times cosine x over sine x times 1 plus cosine x, we will reciprocal the denominator since it is division. 1 plus cosine x will be cancelled out. Cosine x over sine squared x will remain and we break sine squared x into 2. Cosine x over sine x and 1 over sine x. The ratio identity of 1 over sine x is cosecant x, and the reciprocal identity of cosine x over sine x is cotangent x. Now we prove that cosecant x plus cotangent x over tangent x plus sine x is equal to cotangent x cosecant x. The given is second x plus cosecant x over tangent x plus cotangent x equals sine x cosine x. We will verify the right side.
butter sign that on sign x plus cosine x over cosine x sine x over sine squared x plus cosine squared x over cosine x sine x. Simplify the equation for sine x over 1 by sine squared x. We will use to the current identity of the denominator. We will get for sine x over cosine squared x. We will break cosine squared x into 2. So it will be or sine x over cosine x times 1 over cosine x. Using the reciprocal identity, the answer will be 4 tangent x second x. We will use the left side. Tangent cube x plus cotangent x. Breaking it down, it will be tangent x plus cotangent x times tangent squared x minus tangent x cotangent x plus cotangent squared x. Using the formula a plus b times a squared minus a b plus b squared. We will simplify tangent squared x minus tangent x, cotangent x plus cotangent squared x. Using the Pythagorean identity in tangent squared x, we will get second squared x minus 1. Similar to tangent squared x, we will also do the same with cotangent squared x. We will get cosecant squared x minus 1. Using the ratio identity in tangent x, we will get sine x over cosine x, and on cotangent x, we will get cosine x over sine x. We will now distribute negative, so it will be second squared x minus 1 minus 1 plus cosecant squared x minus 1. We now combine like terms. The answer will be secant squared x plus cosecant squared x minus 2. Tangent x plus cotangent x times secant squared x plus cosecant squared x minus 3 is the final answer.
that's all thank you for watching